Hey everyone, welcome back to Blue Curtain Creations, where we talk about 3D printing for everyday life. Today, I'm going to show you three prints I've been using for the last couple weeks I think you're really going to like. Our first print is a customizable drill bit handle by designer Icarius 10. These handles let you use a drill bit without power. You can use two or more bolts to hold in the bit, and it doesn't require any supports to print, making it a quick and easy print with great functionality. It's a great tool when you're trying to just clear out those small holes that don't need the overkill of a drill, or like me, you're working late and you don't want to make too much noise. The SCAD customizer file is provided with the models, so you can change the settings and find the right fit for you. Up next is a key holder by Protean Man. I don't know about you, but I personally have way too many keys in my keychain that make it really bulky. Add a couple key fobs and it just gets ridiculous. The Proteus can stack multiple keys together in a small space, and I've been using this one for about a week so far. I've decided I'm going to keep using it, but I'll make a few small changes to fit my needs and reprint it in cooler colors. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I printed this test model in PLA, but I'm going to print the final version in PETG for added strength, since I'm going to be carrying it around in my pocket a lot. And lastly is a print I've been wanting to make for a while. This is the hand screw clamp by designer Jake Jake, and it was made as a proof of concept for making a style of clamp commonly used in woodworking while taking into account the weaknesses of 3D printed parts. The result is a clamp that can handle a decent amount of pressure with just standard PLA plastic. I tried to snap it by clamping it on my desk and tightening it as far as I could by hand, but it held up and had a pretty firm grip on the desk. Because of the hard plastic and smooth surface of my desk, I was still able to slide it around a bit, so I want to try printing swappable grips with a flexible TPU pad for handling smooth surfaces. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed these prints. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of our work, and also leave us a comment if you have any suggestions for things we should print. Hope you had a happy Easter, we'll see you next week.